What's up guys, today in this video I'm going to be comparing Samsung's Galaxy S5 versus Apple's iPhone 5S. As we know, Galaxy S5 has been a big competitor of Apple's iPhone from day one. We got the two leading contenders as of right now, the Galaxy S5 versus the iPhone 5S. Now I'm going to be doing a few tests here, CPU performance tests and also uh, other uh, tests in terms of screen performance and, and things like that. So let's go ahead and begin. I got the Geekbench application on both devices which was measure CPU performance. That way you can determine which device will perform faster at different tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and here and go into the multitasker to make sure nothing is running in the background so it doesn't affect on the test. And here on the iPhone, I'm going to double tap on the home button to confirm that there's no other pages open as well. So I'm going to launch both applications at the same time. And uh, just by opening applications, I can just say the iPhone kind of did that a little bit quicker. I might have tapped it first on the iPhone, but let's go ahead and run the test itself. I'm going to go ahead and tap on both at the same time. Same application, Geekbench 3. No apps running. Let's start. It looks like the iPhone finished the test first with 1418 on a single core and 2563 on a multiple core. As you can see, there are more of the results, and I will have a link to this application in the description if you want to run these tests yourself. As you can see, there are some other uh, results there from the memory, the RAM, and all that good stuff. But it looks like the iPhone finished the process first. And then there comes Samsung in with the Galaxy S5 coming at 963. As you can see on a single core, the iPhone really outperformed it. But in a multiple core, the iPhone just a little bit shy there from the Galaxy S5 coming in at 2873. And the iPhone coming in at 2563. And again, I'll have the application link down below so you guys can go ahead and run these tests. But it looks like both devices do perform good. If you guys get different results, please feel free to leave them down below. Now let's jump over to do some more testing. Alright guys, so for this next test, I preloaded my blog on both browsers to check out the performance scrolling on both devices. And as you can see here, the Galaxy S5 has no problems, no glitches. No hiccups, just scrolls very, very smoothly and very rapidly. Here on the iPhone 5S, we also have a nice smooth scrolling. Even though it does seem a bit slower, I think that's just the way how iOS is built. Not necessarily means that the iPhone is doing it slower, but it's how the operating system is built. So in terms of scrolling, both devices did it very smoothly, no problem. Now let's do a little bit of a zooming in and out motion, the ones you do for pictures and things like that, to see if there's any hiccups or glitches within the operating system. And it looks like both devices can do that pretty easily without uh, being interrupted there. Uh, really simple. And I uh, also wanted to point out the text, of course, looks larger on the Galaxy S5 because of the bigger screen. Here on the iPhone, the text looks a little bit crisper, I would say, but brighter on the Galaxy. I mean, you guys can be the judge of that. Also, leave a comment down below. But what you think of the sharpness of the display itself but uh in terms of scrolling pinch and zooming in and out looks like both devices performed rather well all right so this was just a really quick video to see the internal performance of the galaxy also the screen performance and also scrolling zooming in and out and things like that just very uh, preliminary testing here but it looks like both devices perform rather well knowing that the galaxy s5 is the brand new device the iphone 5s doesn't fall too far behind so good job by apple but also a good job done here by samsung i hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video much more videos coming comparing both of these flagship devices make sure you stay tuned to the channel make sure you subscribe and don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all the links will be down below i will catch you guys on the next one peace